Hi, uh, this is part three of uh, Muhammad Quran is amazing. <clears throat> Should be Muhammad's Quran, but uh, uh, this is by uh, native native uh, Arab speaker Christian Prince, who is probably the best out there when it comes to exposing what's in the Quran and Hadith. He's a again with a native Arabic uh, speaker. He knows what the Quran, and the original Quran and Hadith say. So. <clears throat> And he exposes what he feels is really stupid about the Quran and Hadith. So, if you're a Muslim, you're probably not going to like this. But I tell you, I've, I've had him as a teacher. He's been, I mean, <clears throat> I watch most all of his videos. And have been doing so since uh, 2007. So, on uh, YouTube. And... Uh, <clears throat> I would download the whole thing, <clears throat> whole thing, but uh, <clears throat> they're too long, so I have to break them up this way. Anyway, here is a part three coming up here. Bye. <clears throat> and supposedly this is a miracle, and he was amused with her speech. I have a question for the Muslims. You see, an average person, maybe he would not think deep about how stupid this is. And this is what the Muslims, they play their game for. They are thinking of an average person who is not, let us say his IQ is not really high. So they can convert him to Islam. Questions. Guys, anyone notice something there? Uh, can, can you guys pause for me verse number 18? Or verse number 17, sorry. 17 and, and 18. And then I want you to focus with me in verse number 18. Anyone notice something fishy there? In verse number 18? Something very stupid? Additional to all of this? <clears throat> huh? Who noticed that is seen in verse number 18? And specifically in the coat of the ant. In the coat of the ant. How she know that the name is Suleiman? Okay, we got it. The ant can talk, we will let it go. The ant she can make a speech, we will let it go. How the ant she knew the name of the guy? Imagine Christian Prince is in the yard and there's a bunch of ants and one of them she says, hide otherwise a Christian Prince will crush you. Okay, how she know my name? How the end she knew the name of the guy? I will give you one of two options. This end she called a friend. This end she had Facebook and Google. This end she was inspired by God. She is a prophet for the ants. So Allah He inspired her. Do we have any Abdul? Any comment? So what the Muslim they try to make to us as a miracle, it turned to be a disaster. Right? Sure, Ryder, you want to ask a question, put your hand up. But that a question have to do with the topic, please. Anyone have a question? Put your hand up, please. Uh, Mr. Ahmadi, Ahmadi Muslim, you are calling Christian Prince liar, but you have no proof. Mr. Ahmadi Muslim, what about you call me life? Do you dare? Ahmadi Muslim, do you dare to call me life? I can give you my Skype. Do you dare? Ahmadi, do you dare? Listen, Ahmadi, I accuse you to be a potato like the rest of the Muslims. Do you dare to call me right now and get me busted? Ahmadi, don't, don't play dead on me. Do you dare to call me alive and get me busted? There we go. We ask him to call me and debate me. Now he says speech of hate. We are talking about ants. 
I mean, guys, I talk about the Muslims. I'm talking about the ants. Even the ants, if we talk about the ants, they say you are a hateful person. We are talking about ants. Is ants is a, is a speech of hate? I did not even tell you to kill the ant. <laughs> Coward. Coward. And Ahmadiyya, he is talking about uh, uh, peace. Isn't your Quran, he says, I've been victorious by terror, you idiot. Isn't it your Quran says go, go go and kill the Christians and the Jews wherever you find them? Isn't it your Quran says force them to pay jizya unless uh, uh, otherwise they have to be killed? And now you are talking about peace. A Muslim talking about peace. A professional criminal who teach hate and killing to Christians and Jews and atheists and Yazidi and everyone who is not a Muslim and Hindus, giving us a speech about hate and love. Anyway, guys, ignore him. This guy is just a kid. Obviously, he have nothing to say. When we ask him to call us and debate us, the coward, he said, like a puppet. So as you see, the story here, what is Muslims trying to make it as a miracle, it turned to be a, a tragedy of comedy. It's a comedy. <clears throat> And, uh, and do you know what happened to Suleiman, by the way? After all these things, Suleiman have an army. Suleiman, he have women who have no hair in their legs. Suleiman, he have the bird who is called the hub hub. After that, Suleiman, after all of this, Suleiman, he lost his kingdom. Anyone remember how Suleiman lost his kingdom? Let us see your memory, guys. Let us see who is here. He's getting old. How Suleiman, he lost his kingdom. Don't use bad language, right? Otherwise, I will bounce you. Use a good language, please. Suleiman, the one who the Quran speak about, he lost his kingdom because he lost his ring. How he lost his ring? He went to the bathroom, and Allah did not allow him to take his to, to take his ring, the magical ring, with him in the bathroom. So he left his ring always with his wife outside. She wait for him until he finished eh, eh, poo poo, and when he is out, before when he is in the bathroom. Shaitan, he came to her and he took the look of Suleiman and then he took the ring. And then Suleiman, he is not a king. I mean, this is science. The Lord of the Ring movie obviously is coming from there. Who can deny that? Uh, no, you know, uh, Awan. There is the, the, the fiction behind the story is the Jews. The Jews, they have a lot of fiction stories. There's a book, it's called The Legions of the Jews. I, I advise you, all of you to read it. And you will see that Muhammad is taking all the legions of the Jews and he, he believes in them as true stories. He's stupid. In The Legion of the Jews, you will see, the Legion of the Jews have no author. The Legion of the Jews is a legions, collection of legions. The Jews believe in it in long time. But the book, the book, it's uh, it's uh, it is uh, translated into English, or let us say, collected by, uh, uh, I think it's an American guy, and you can download it from the internet. Just type the Legion of the Jews; it's for free, because this this book have no copyright because it's an old book, more than a hundred years ago. So no, not necessarily just from the Talmud. The Legion of the Jews was a scatter. There's there's some is in the Talmud, and there's some they are not in the Talmud. So not necessarily in the Talmud, all of it. Yeah, so those stories, Muhammad, he took them for granted because he's a stupid false prophet and he put them in his Quran. And he put them in his Quran based in his own, let us say, uh, say, like he is just saying words from his mouth, right? But the story is almost the same in the legions. You can go right now and search Suleiman is speaking to the end, the legion of the Jews. And you will find many websites showing you what Suleiman he said in the legions. So Muhammad, he proved to us that he is a false prophet by quoting a fiction story and speaking of it as if it is coming from God. And look here, right after, you see we mentioned, uh, we mentioned uh, the bird who is uh, the minister of Allah, right? We mentioned that, right? Look, just a line after that you will see that Suleiman, the story continue. the story is more amazing. I mean, like, look at this story, man. I mean, this is so beautiful. I feel like I want to cry and convert to Islam. 
uh, after Suleiman, he was amused by the speech of the ant, and the ant she called him by name. Uh, you will see that Suleiman, he took a master of birds. He took what? A master of birds. As I told you, this is guy. He's is a colonel, maybe. And he said, "Why I see not the hububu, the hubu? What what? Suleiman he check his birds every day. He have an army of birds. But look how sharp his eyes is. He noticed that one of them is missing. Ooh, man, oh man." Why I see not the hubu? Or he is among the abstance. What? Abstance? You see, as I told you, it's an army of birds. Every day, Sergeant Allah or Sergeant Suleiman, he go and he march in the front of his chicken army and his birds. And the birds, they say, yes, sir. Your name, soldier. Private soldier. Yes, sir. So Suleiman, he do that every day. And he when he was walking by the birds, he found that one of the private soldiers is missing. And he is a bird. So what Suleiman, he did, he says, I will certainly punish him with severe penalty. Execute him or execute. Look, 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 look how harsh Suleiman is with the birds. The bird is missing in the morning when Suleiman is checking the birds and he is not in the rank. <laughs> Suleiman, he will not send this the, will be the, the this military will be police to capture. <clears throat> but.